Okay, so something that's been coming up for me lately is identity and like, like things that I've been like clinging on to that have been holding me back from actually living um, and going places that I want to go in life and in business, right? So I would love like any thoughts around that. So for me specifically, holding on to the identity of being quadriplegic or having a spinal cord injury. And so I've shifted that to my body is experiencing, right? So then that opens up possibilities instead of, because in saying I'm quadriplegic or I have a spinal cord injury that feels limiting and it just, for, for, for me personally, it brings up the limitations that society puts around being or having either one of those things. So I would love any thoughts around that. Well, I just put it in the chat because I am, I am taking your words and, and putting it to myself and knowing like what filter to put it through for me. So I love that what you just shared to me was a tip, right? Keeping yourself open to the possibilities with your words and your thoughts. When we even think the thing, shifting that to be more of a positive way of staying open to the possibilities, I, th I think was really beautiful what you were just saying. So I just put that in here. That That's a tip that I took from what you shared is keeping ourselves open to the possibilities with our words and our thoughts, because that's where it all starts. It all starts with our thoughts and how we're showing up in our day-to-day -day lives. And then the words that we speak life to, that's why they matter. And so a question too, that I pulled through what, what you were sharing is like, what are we clinging to, onto that is no longer serving where we want to go, right? We can be in one place today, but we want to go somewhere further, right? We're about becoming better every day. That's what the point of living is. It's not to stay the same, it is to grow. And so where are we holding on to things that we can release so that we can move forward where we're going? So yeah, I'm going to sit with that for me. Yeah. The thing that came to mind in the first part, what you were talking about, because I missed the second, I got a phone call. Um, apologize for that. Um, that, uh, <laughs> that what it sounded like you were saying is, um, with identity is being able to be authentic to yourself and showing up authentically. And that takes self-acceptance and, um, you know, really loving yourself and accepting yourself to be okay with someone else not accepting you. Um, and being okay with um, not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody's going to resonate with you. And that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody has to like you, you know, and being okay with, you know, the fact that um, I don't, I don't have time right now, but if you guys ask me at the end about the one third, one third, one third, if you're not familiar with that um, and I'll share that with you, but um, then the other thing, oh, I forgot it. And we're at time anyway. So, um, but there was another thing that I thought of and I'll, maybe it'll come back and I'll put it in the chat, but um, yeah. Awesome. I love that. All right. We'll see you back at 10 too.